Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, KBZ, and here we are on another video. Oh, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's look good. That looks good right there. Don't, you know, I love when I get gems. When I open these gift boxes, it's always a good thing. Um, so, let's see. I'm in this guild called L.U. Lord's Union, and it's obviously under construction. Um, as you can see, uh, we just got a few people in here. It's only 13 people in here. Um, those of you who don't know, who haven't been following me from the beginning, Slayer7U was my first ever guild master, like, ever. Like, a year ago, when I first joined the game, he was my first ever guild master. He's making a, another guild. Um, so, you know, we're over here, and... Get it, you're finna get a popping. So, at 13 people, we only have 13 people in here, and it's already 5.5 billion, might. But anyway, let's get on to the video, guys. Well, I'm saying it to say, um, if you want to join, no, we only hunt level two and up monsters, we farm RSS, and we set rallies, and you know, all kinds of stuff. Like, oh, yeah, speaking of that, see, we just did all these essences. So, let me get on that right now. And that's just what we do. Oh, yes. 10K holy stars. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's get to the topic of this video today. So everybody wants to know why I have so many farms. And I've done this video, I think, one or two times. But for the third, for the third time, I'm just going to show you guys what's up. Right. So I am a food hyper. Everybody's like, oh, you got... 11 million troops, how are you a food hyper, blah, 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 blah. Your food, your, your food negative right now, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. So, when it comes to Lord Mobile, anything is possible. I'm starting to realize that anything is possible. So, as you can see, I have all farms. Boom. My current production is 9.3 million might per hour. I said might. 9.3 million food per hour. Now, there's different things to take into uh, account when you're doing a food hyper. So, it goes from the research. As you can see, like, so this right here, 80%. Um, familiars, 30%. Uh, what? Military command? That's food storage. But anyway... There's, there's a few places that does um food just thingy thing magic. Then you go to talents, it's twelve percent. That's seventy percent, ninety two percent. Then you go down here, that's five hundred eighteen percent. Once you reach VIP fifteen, that's twenty five percent right there. Okay, then you got the different gear. So I have a food set right now. Boom. Now, when I apply, remember before I was at 9.3 million food per hour. Now I'm at 11.85 food per hour. And then um, my upkeep is only 7.6 uh, million per hour. So I'm making a surplus about uh, roughly 4, 4 million food per hour. And then the um, important thing to take into effect is I have reduced upkeep for 7 days, which caused 11.2k gems. And also... I have a champion top that is 24.45% um, reduced upkeep. So if I was to upgrade this even more, which would be damn near impossible because these crimson mains are so rare. But if I was to upgrade it even more, just give me a second there, guys. If I was to upgrade it even more, then um, it will a 32.75 reduced upkeep. As you can see, I can't do that right now. <laughs> definitely do not have enough crimson means for that. But um, I am definitely working on my set to make it better and better. I'm using Nasserus jewels. You know, they're not gold, so that's another way to get, get better. Right here, this is 54.3% 54 54 food production. Uh, this one is 44%. So, but if I was to upgrade it to Mythic... It will go even higher so there's, there's a lot of things in the works but 
the food hyperin thing is possible. And a lot of people keep underestimating it. Like, yo, why do you have so many farms? It's not really helping you. Just to listen, I produce my own food now. Like, I don't need nobody for food. Like, no, think about it. You can gather gold. You can gather ore. You can gather wood. You could gather stone. You can gather food, but a lot of people can't hold it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm able to produce as well as whole food if need be so you know um we don't need to go to any um we don't need to buy anything or anything of the sort because i'm producing food and as as i go along and i'm currently working on another piece uh, let's go to the da, 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 da. Now the 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 lunar flutes are overall the best to do, but because they require so much material, I'm working on the horn Hortensia diamond first. So I'm currently working on these, getting the material for these first. Um, then I will be working on the flutes afterwards. But it's it's this is a process, and it's just getting more and more food by the hour. It is also familiar to think about. Um, right now I'm working on Evil Weevil because you know, twenty four point five percent. When I maxed it out, it's gonna be thirty percent. So that's another five point five percent right there. I'm gonna work on Terra Spike afterwards. I'm telling you, there's so many different ways that you can increase your food production, and I'm doing it, man. Like, it it does not hurt at all, and you just be completely reliant on yourself. <sighs> Need to work on my Ultra Boost, that's for sure. Yeah, I only got 18 days on my altar boot, so something has to give. But, you know, I'm kind of in a behind, I'm, you know, in between finding places and stuff like that. So I really can't afford to, you know, get any packs or anything like that. But, you know, I'm out here doing my thing to thing thing. Hell event research. It's not a good hell event, or I would just finish that. Um pack research i'm trying to unlock a pack four as well but it's just to show you guys just take the time to research and learn what you can do to make yourself more efficient so that you do not need anybody for anything right now i am an asset i can provide food i can hunt monsters you know um and i can contribute troops Every guild has a need for resources, especially war guilds. You think about those 60, 70 million my guilds. They need resources. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a food hyper, you can you can produce food. You can produce gold, especially. Food and gold, you can produce those. As well as um, uh, put troops in rallies, then anybody will take you. It's just a matter of negotiation. And once you get into those high-end guilds, they hunt level three, four, or five monsters all the time. So their guild fest really be really high. There's a lot of different things that you could go about. But I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, this is different steps that you can do to make yourself sufficient. Anyway, guys, it's your boy Kit. And then on top of that, you can farm all these materials for um the food hyper by this gathering. So it's not like a pay to pay thing. Obviously, the champ piece that I have is actually I got the the crimson mains. Well, you know some of it is um uh from packs, but the majority of it is like these bargain store things they've been offering. KVK. There's a lot of different ways to get yourself situated and sorted out, man. I'm telling you. So just take the time to focus and realize. So. This is just an answer you guys that have been asking me be why I have so many farms. Anyway, guys, it's your boy KBG, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I should be bringing some Baby Trap videos to you guys. You know, the Baby Trap is doing its thing, getting there. Be sure to see you in the next video.